What's up guys, welcome back to Jungle, back to another video. And in today's video, um, it is more of an informative video. This video is for those of you guys who actually live in my area, that live in Sac County, and I never thought a day like this would come, but it has. So for those of you guys who have been following the channel, you guys know that I sent the i3 off to auction. Now, I haven't actually got you guys an update on that because it hasn't sold yet. So the situation with that is, you start to realize that I impulsively bought that car, which means not everyone else out there really wants to rebuild the BMW i3, especially one with frame damage. I decided not to cover up the frame damage portion. Um, so when Copart actually sold it to me, they sold it to me with just front end damage. But now when they listed it back on Copart, they listed it as front end damage and undercarriage damage. Um, that being said, uh, that I still have to get you guys some news on that. I'm not getting a decent price on that. I'm literally losing more than half of what I put into the car, even buying the car. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that hopefully in another video. Uh, but in terms of the M3, the M3 is getting fixed at the frame shop. So fingers crossed, that's all gonna be gravy the Navy. As soon as you get that car back, we'll be making some better content on that thing. I'm super excited. We finally got the raw bearings done. We're going to be doing a lot of modifications too. We're going to be finally enjoying that V8 that I've been missing for so, so, so long. So don't worry guys, we are going to be modifying the beast. But yeah guys, the topic of this video is uh, this violation right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Sacramento Community Development Notice of Alleged Violation and the date was 2-3-2022. Now I'm not actually making this video to hate on Sacramento County. I'm pretty sure it's not only Sacramento County that's having this um, car thing where you cannot work on your car on your own driveway. Uh, but yes, what happened was I was working on the i3 on the bottom of my driveway. I don't know if I have any clips of me actually working on my car, but I'm gonna throw it in like right now. But yeah, basically I was working on my car on the bottom of my driveway, which again, I, I don't think that's a proper way of doing it. Everyone can see you working on it. It does kind of degrade the neighborhood when you have a car that's like really beat up on like the edge of the street that everyone that drives by can actually see it. So um, I do take responsibility for that. And that's why I'm not really too upset about it. I knew it was kind of ugly. And my job was trying to get the thing to turn over as soon as possible. So I could back it into the garage and start working on it in the garage, but the car would not move. So I was kind of like stuck in that dilemma where I had to make do with what I can do. But at the same time, it looks like it pissed off one of my neighbors enough to the point to where they called the county and police actually showed up to my house and they did a full report. So that being said guys, how it actually works is when you're actually working on your vehicle outside of your house or on your driveway, if it's really noticeable and your neighbors can like visually see you working on it like just by standing outside of their house, that's considered like kind of like disturbing uh, the neighborhood or like something like that. I don't know you could say disturbing the peace or something. And it's also considered like degrading the neighborhood. Now there could be so many other factors. Like I don't know if you guys can see this whole checklist of things. I only got checked for one thing. There's a list of like boat storage, vehicle profit, uh, vehicle parking on unprohibited unpro surfaces such as grass. Apparently parking your car on grass can get your car, um, you know, get you can get a violation for that, which is actually a good thing because I don't like a people park on grass. It looks kind of like, it looks kind of tacky. It honestly makes the area look like people don't care when you park on your grass. So I kind of like how there are strict rules about stuff like this, but I just never see it being enforced. Like I honestly have some people down the road, like a couple blocks down, that have cars all over their grass and it's still there since I moved in here. So I'm just wondering why me, the new guy that just moved in the neighborhood, uh, you know, got a violation for a car that's only been on the thing for two weeks and these people have their car on their grass for God knows how long. But anyhow, um, you know, it is what it is. Obviously you can get violations for outdoor storage of junk. There is minor vehicle repairs, major vehicle repairs. So apparently you can get in trouble for minor vehicle repairs. Um, and then mine's just inoperable or dismantled vehicles. So that's also another thing. Um, you can have, you can get in trouble for like your fences being a certain condition, parking a semi truck in front of your house, um, uh, vacant lot registration. There's again, there's so many things you guys can look at the Sac County um, alleged violation list. Um, but basically, it does come with everything you need to know to how to correct the violation. And basically, all they told me to do is get rid of the vehicle or get it in your garage. As long as the neighborhoods can't see it, the people in front of your house cannot see it, or people that are driving by cannot see you visually working on the car, it's not just disturbing anyone, so it's perfectly fine. So if it's in your garage, it's fine. Otherwise, you do need to get the car off your property within 30 days. If not, either they tow the vehicle, which is a joke, like it's an absolute joke, or you pay a violation to extend the case um, for as long as you need to get the car running again, and then um, you know you just have to pay the tickets, pay the violations, and that all stays on record. As a new homeowner, I don't want tickets to like you know any kind of stuff like that with the county. I want to be in peace with the county. But yeah, this is a learning experience for myself. Um, I did see myself when I was working on that car that it wasn't it wasn't the best place to do it. But again, I was kind of like in that situation that what can I do about it? But now I know, guys, for 
for future builds down the road, I need to get the car in the garage. So I either need to get a car that runs and drives or I need to figure out a way to make this house more private. So I don't know if you guys can see, but my driveway is right there. I have all this land, God bless, right in front of the house. So I was actually thinking about pay making some privacy bushes all around there to the end of the driver right here and turning this front end like concrete but some super nice concrete where I could display some of my cars and actually work on the end of the bushes there because it's gonna be kind of like a bush that goes down like this and like this privacy bushes probably like four or five feet tall and then I can just do my thing back here where no one can see and then I can actually park my cars also in the garage so I think that's something I'm gonna actually have to do it does sound like it's gonna cost a lot of money we have trees in the way right here we actually have these two trees right here that's right against the roots of the house I don't know if you can see the other the tree but there's that tree and there's one tree right next to the house which can actually ruin the integrity of the house so these two trees have to go just for uh, for for the house like it needs to take care of the house those other trees we'll figure it out people are saying don't get rid of trees because they bring life I do understand that but at the same time um, I don't know I have to I, I want to keep some trees but not all of them so yeah guys there's gonna be some future updates on this channel for the house we're gonna try to make this house a car enthusiast home so the goal is to do some like privacy um, like bushes um, some beautiful concrete modern style with some grass in between it and stuff like that uh, probably do like a little sit down area in front of the house as well again I'm gonna try to make it like I'm gonna try to sketch it all out get some quotes on it see how much everything's gonna cost because concrete's not cheap landscaping's not cheap um, doing the bushes is not cheap um, getting some uh, Sacramento uh, what's it called like uh, Sacramento permits getting the permits to be able to do all this stuff that's all gonna cost money so I even heard if you want to cut a tree in the front of your house if it's a big enough tree you need to get a permit to cut it this there's a lot of things that's kind of like okay it is what it is um i never knew this getting to be you know i'm a, a first time home buyer so this is a first time experience and i feel like for those of you guys who are watching that are also car enthusiasts if you ever get a house you guys plan to do what i want to do so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys a full process on all that stuff and i'll integrate it into the build video so do not worry i'm actually going to do like a just a home video it's going to be integrated to the car video so if you guys want to um obviously enjoy longer videos that's another way to make it to basically work on the house and work on the cars in the same videos i think it's gonna be super fun so yeah yeah, if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button because I'm going to start getting some quotes ASAP because I cannot um, get all my builds in the garage. There's just no way. But yeah, to get back to this whole alleged violation thing, as long as you take care of it within 30 days, you are not fine. So the good thing is, even if I get another one of these for like a different reason in like a month or two months, I will get an alleged violation, which as long as I take care of it within 30 days, I'll be fine. As long as it's not the same vehicle being reported, I'll be fine. And this is actually one of those reasons why I got rid of the i3 because the frame shop wasn't going to work on it for another three months and I need to work on other builds and I have to leave the i3 outside. So it's going to put me kind of in a predicament that I don't really want to be in. So um, yeah, I just, I just financially and just ultimately a smarter move to just get rid of the car. But just to show you guys literally everything so you guys can also be careful. These are all the things you can get alleged violations for. So if you guys want to take a screenshot, you guys live in Sacramento County. I think LA County is the exact same as well. So um, yeah, this is the stuff you cannot mess up. You guys can see when I got the violation, that was no fun. I already took care of it. The, the case has been closed. I didn't want to you know, talk about anything until the case was actually closed. Now they can actually give this to you in person or they can actually mail it to you. Here are the fees guys. So for alleged violations, there is no fee, but there's fees up to $25,000. And I mean, they started at 150 to 500. I mean, these are some expensive fees that I don't want to actually go through. So that is why. I got rid of the car when it was just an alleged violation so I don't have to pay anything and it does come with the documents guys to actually correct the violation um, this shows you everything you need to do to correct a particular violation so this one right here inoperable dismantled vehicle it says right here repair or remove from premises or enclosed vehicles in garage you may be required to demonstrate operability of the vehicle stored on the property so if you're thinking um, hey my car is actually not inoperable or dismantled it does drive it just looks kind of beat up you can actually fight the violation and when they get here you just have to show that the car can run and drive on its own so um, you could fight it I don't want to go through it if you if you um, you know if you just get rid of it um, the case is closed if you don't get rid of it it goes and you have to go into inspections and all that stuff anywho I don't want to go through all that but yeah guys if you guys live in the Sac County this is just the way to avoid it do not work on your cars on the lowest point of your driveway because I actually live on a very busy road you guys are about to see a car any minute now just go by like literally three two one um, maybe a muffin will go by but come on Come on, come on, come on. This is normally a very busy neighborhood. There's supposed to be a car that flies by here any minute now. And uh, I guess not, I guess not. But normally, <laughs> 
a car flies by here every couple seconds. But yeah, guys, don't want to work on the bottom of your driveway. Try to get the car in the top of your driveway or in the garage. And if you're working on the top of your driveway, try to have it where it's enclosed. There's a car right there. There's another car right there. So yeah, lesson learned. I'm going to be doing some things to this house to make it more private and uh, make it to where we can actually film better videos and actually have more space for it. So um, yeah, things to come. Obviously, that costs money. Obviously, right now, as of my current financial uh, standpoint, I dumped too much money into the i3. I spent too much on the i3. And uh, I'm currently in that situation where the i3 isn't even worth half of what I got it for. So I need to figure out a way to recoup some money, either by parting it out or just keep reposting it on the auction until somebody actually wants to buy it for the parts instead of to rebuild it. We'll see where that goes. We'll see what my plans are for the car exactly. But as of right now, guys, I just want to make a video on this to just make people uh, aware in the Sac County that this is actually real. I lived in Sac County, my parents' house, for a long period of time. And I've actually never gotten a violation like this ever. Like I've, I've worked on cars for, I would say five or six years. Um, obviously not on the lowest point of my driveway, which is why I think I got it this time. But I've worked on cars all the time. I never had this issue. So long story short, do not work on your cars in the bottom point of your driveway or on the street. That is a terrible idea. Just work on it in your garage or on the top of your driveway. And I think you should be fine. Anywho, guys, let me know down below when you actually heard that Sac County was actually giving away tickets for work on your own vehicles. You can even get a ticket for technically doing an oil change on your driveway or spark plugs on your driveway. Even a minor repair, you can get an alleged violation for and you have to prove that you got everything dialed in after after a couple days or whatever. Do you think Sac County is overdoing it or LA County is overdoing it? Do you think that this is like, this is just crazy, it's your own house, you should do whatever you want? Or do you think it is kind of fair um, so it doesn't kind of degrade your neighborhood? Not everyone has a lot of dismantled vehicles on their driveway. Let me know down below what you guys think is best. I'm kind of like 50-50. Obviously, I don't want a bunch of garbage cars on my driveway or anybody else's gar uh, you know driveway because it just kind of makes the area not look as nice as it should be. But at the same time, I only had it there for a week. I mean, give a man, give a man some time. <laughs> so let me know down below. Without further ado, guys, that's going to have to conclude this video. It's just an update video on the M3, the i3, and then obviously the house and the alleged violation. Hopefully in the next video, we'll be doing something with the F80. Got some news on the F80. Don't know if you guys are going to like it or you guys are going to love it. You guys will let me know, I guess, in the next video. But without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.